So what is today? Today is distilling day. We are going to distill out our potato vodka. This ought to be pretty cool. Okay, so welcome to Still Worship Brewing. My name is Randy and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, like so what we said, we, today is distilling day for our, our potato vodka. I've been looking forward to this one. Um, but there is something that you could really do to help us out. And it's easy to do. If you haven't had a chance, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, that means a lot to us. We did make 10,000 subscribers, so I was really, really happy about that. And thanks to everybody that subscribed. Um, the other thing you could do is hit that notification bell. Uh, you could share us with your friends. Give us that thumbs up if you like what you see, and please leave a comment, and I will get back to you. Okay, so let's get started. So what is the very first thing we got to do? Well, that's easy. Okay, we've already checked our, our uh, mash, and it is down to uh, 1.000, so that means it is completely done fermenting. All right, so our next step is we'll siphon all of that... Uh, mash over into our still pot and then after that we'll degas the liquid because what happens with the liquid is from fermentation a lot of the CO2 gas is absorbed into the liquid so we just need to knock it loose so that's very easy to do so we'll take care of that so let me go ahead and get that done and we'll get the pot moved over here so I'll be back in a few minutes okay so we got uh, all right Got the still pot hurt, uh, heating up. Got our column. We we uh, filled it full of copper mesh and some rationing rings. There we got our bubble plates with our modifications done and a the rest of the column. Okay, and we do have a pre-condensing right here. So, all we got to do is wait for the uh, still to start heating up, and then we'll be back. Alright, while we're waiting on our still to heat up, let me, I wanted to describe how my cooling water is running. Okay, so I got cold water coming in right here. It's come to this little manifold, and I do have a ball valve that controls the precondenser and one that controls my lead bait condenser here. Okay, so when we when it starts to uh, vapors all start to rise, what we'll do is we'll pull this cooling water going to our pre-condensing, pre-condenser, and what we'll do is we're gonna reflux everything back and let it let it reflux for a little bit. So then once we're satisfied, we'll start easing off on that cooling water start to let some of it go by that and then it will condense into regular lead bag and then we'll start collecting okay all right just to let you know where i'm at uh pot temperature is right about 175 you can start to see some steam and condensation in the uh the column there i'm just getting one or two little drips off of the uh condenser and it smells like fingernail polish so uh, what I'm gonna do is I got the water turned off on the pre-condenser and what I'm gonna do is I got do have it on the uh, chuck or the uh, blah, 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 the lead big condenser and so what I'll do is collect about eight ounces six to eight ounces off first and then what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll turn the water on to the pre-condenser and we're going to start sending everything back for a little bit and get some reflux action going on. But she's getting ready to take place now. And it, like I said, don't walk away because once it goes, it's going to go in a heartbeat. Uh, head temperature is right about 100. So she's getting ready. Okay. If you notice, got some action going on now. What I'm doing right now is just letting it run through. I haven't turned the uh, precondenser on yet. I'm letting it, uh, we're going to get get the heads and the uh,
stuff off and then what we'll do is we'll turn on the pre condenser and then we'll knock her back all right but she is starting to work uh, so far the plate modifications they seem to be doing a fine job everything seems to be working real nice okay okay we collected that uh, eight ounces off I'm gonna start turning the water on here and you'll see the production I don't know if you can see it but the production will, the output will pretty much stop once I send cooling water up here and it don't take very much water either a little at a time It's slowing down. It's the, the water that was in there is heated, heated up. Right? Yeah, she's starting to cool off now. And production just about stopped over there. We're just going to let it sit here and reflux for a little bit. I don't know if you can see this, but it's sending everything back down the column. I mean, and it's starting to load the plates up nice. And you can see over there, production is just about stopped. Okay, so we're going to let this go a little bit and then we'll start easing the water off go into the precondenser until we get just the right output that we want I mean right now it's not too bad I think the modifications we made is doing the trick I mean you can see right 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 there where the this is coming down off of the you know it's coming down off the tang that we made everything seems to be working fine okay we fill this jar up then we'll check and see what we're coming off at okay so we're checking our first jar that looks like what 93 percent that's the percent sale that's I think too awful bad 93 percent okay okay I want to show you where I'm at this jar here that was what I'm considering my heads. So we took eight ounces. Next jar, 193. Uh, let me back up. 93 percent. 93 percent. 93 percent. And right here, it dropped down to 75 percent. And if I'm checking at the spout, right, particularly right now, it is at uh, 60 percent okay and if you want to notice the column you can really see a lot of condensation and then what that's telling me that there's a lot of water traveling up with the distillate and that's why the uh, percent ABV on them jars is going down okay so we're almost done here so so we'll, we'll be right back. Okay. I think this was a pretty successful run. Uh, and I already told you the ABV of that. And I was watching this right off the spout. And it started dropping like a rock. Right? It went from... Um, down to... 40 percent well from 80 percent down to 40 i mean it was like on fire going down okay so that's why i shut the heat off and we're going to call it everything so what i'm going to do is i'm saving all four of these i 
taste of these, it's, I mean, it's hot, but it tastes very good. All right, so let's give, let's give this a taste. It tastes like vodka. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use that too. All right, Let me just take that there, catch drips. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to mix some. Let's see what the. I don't. Even, I don't think it'd be able to register on this yet. This only goes to uh, eighty percent. Yeah, it's up past 80%. Alright. So, Alright, let's mix. Uh, I know I'm going to have to put two orders in there. white that's, that's the air bubbles in it you'll see it's clearing off the bottom coming up that brought it down to 60 percent so I think one more bottle of water in there we'll do it see how crystal clear it's getting That's 50, like 53 percent. I like one more bottle of water, and that, that's going to do it. I like my alcohol that, um, I like 80, 80 proof, which is 40 percent. That's just where I like to drink. Did I do that right? 80? I guess I'm floating in the jar though. Okay, that's right on 40%, which would be 80 proof. Just where I want to keep it. Okay? So the only thing I got next I got to do is I'll put a funnel and put it through a coffee filter in my, in my bottles and hey it's ready to drink but I think we need let's, let me taste it how it is right now mmm that, that's good vodka vodka has very little if it's made right, it has very little taste to it. Um, yeah, it just has very little taste. Uh, but that's a good... You can make a lot of good stuff with that. I didn't want it real high proof. Uh, I like to mix it with drinks and... Like I said before, 80... 80 uh, proof is perfect for me. Alright, well this is the first time I ever made vodka without a potatoes. Uh, I will have to say that uh, it's a lot easier to work with um, grain than it is potatoes. Uh, potatoes are a little bit challenging, but it tastes good. So I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it will not go to waste. Uh, my modifications to my bubble plate actually it worked out better than I hoped 
Um, it it was. I, I'm very pleased with that. Okay. All right. I guess there's only one thing left to say. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Stillworks and Brewing. Cheers, everybody.